Following an article in the morning which was saying that uh, the police are going to besiege the MDC offices looking for machets, uh, we thought probably it was just a bluff, but um, uh, in mid-afternoon, mid then they realized they came and they barricaded the road. Uh, they closed Nelson Mandela in Angwa Street and then they went and closed uh, First Street. And they came into the offices, they were searching, they had a search warrant to search in the MDC offices. They were looking for weapons that could be used um, within the streets, used weapons that can be used uh, for violence. But um, they found nothing within the office, not because uh, anything was removed, but because the MDC is a law abiding party. It's a party which gives room to peace. It's a party which abides um, the legal principles, which is bent on emancipating the people of Zimbabwe from the yokes of bondage. We are not a violent party, so they found nothing. They even went further to look for, for, for those uh, weapons uh, uh, in uh, Robinson House, which is not our, our area, which is not our area of jurisdiction as the MDC. But we remain clear, we remain vigilant as the young people of the MDC to say that the party is clear, we are not violent, we don't have any weapons, we are not the Mashurugis. The government instead should go where the artisanal farmers, where people are being butchered day in and day out. They are not having um, main power to go and deal with those issues about Mashuriki, but they are coming here, Morgan Richard Changira House, which is a sacred house, a revolutionary house, where they are coming here to search, but they find nothing. This has been their modus operandi even during the days of Mugabe. And we can see that uh, Emerson Mnangagwa's administration has been taken over, and they've even done it greater than what Mugabe was doing during his time, because this time they're even barricading the road, even going to a step further of uh, looking for, for the weapons in other places where they want to incriminate the MDC. Okay, so we recently we saw an article from the uh, advocate Nelson Chamisa saying we are going to proceed with the proposed uh, address in Bari. Can you enlighten the nation on that one? Given um, that uh, the police uh, previously denied you the, 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 the meeting. You see, when you are dealing with a system that wants to close democratic spaces, in order for those democratic spaces to be opened, you need to confront the system head on. Because the people of Zimbabwe are looking upon Advocate Nelson Chamisa to deliver a new Zimbabwe, where the economy will be stable, where the political economy will also be stabilized. So in that regard, the party is the MDC. We are obliged, we have a social contract with the people, the promises that we made to the people of Zimbabwe. So we will deliver a new Zimbabwe, a transformative Zimbabwe, which punctuates democracy, as it was expounded by uh, our, our revolutionary founder, uh, Morgan Richard Sangran. So as the party, we are going to proceed with our program, with or without um, the police uh, go ahead. Because we, 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 we believe that we should demand uh, democratic spaces, they should be opened. These are the issues that we are dealing with. The issue that the, the government is now bastardizing uh, the, um, the constitution and they also want to make amendments to the constitution. Why is our plea as the, as the MDC? Our call is to make sure that the, the government aligns the constitution uh, according to what was uh, penned down by referendum in 2013. But they are now going on to amend the constitution. We don't want amendments. We don't want to give absolute power to the president. We want the constitution which was done by the people. If anything is to be changed, it has to go through a referendum. Well, Mr. Ombe, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome, my brother.